प्रियंका सिन्हा एंड आई एम विथ नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्लास टेंथ सीबीएसई सो लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर एज इन अर्लियर वीडियो we will discussed about charges only so in this video we will start our chapter electricity charge is the part of chapter electricity that we already discussed so let's start electricity definition of electricity also we already discussed but still i'm just recalling the definition of electricity what is electricity electricity is basically the presence or flow of charges through an object presence or flow of charges through an object okay so if an object have extra electron or excess electron or simply imbalance of charges or if you are moving electrons through that object in both the cases you can produce electricity through that either by imbalancing the charges on an object you can create or produce electricity or simply by moving electron through that object also you can produce electricity so accordingly we divide electricity in two parts first one is static electricity and second is current electricity so we divide electricity electricity kya hai the presence of flow of charges presence and flow of charges hum log yahan presence of charges ko discuss karenge yahan flow of charges ko discuss karenge so electricity is practically presence of flow of charges through an object or in an object so let's start with static electricity static electricity is a branch of physics in which we are going to study about the charges which is at rest we are going to study about the charges which is at rest yahan par hame study karna hai study of charges at rest and here study of charges in motion static electricity mein we are going to discuss or study about the charges which is in rest और यहां पर क्या डिस्कस करेंगे स्टडी ऑफ चार्जेस विच इज इन मोशन ओके नाउ स्टडी ऑफ चार्जेस एट रेस्ट के लिए सी एवरी बॉडी इन आर सराउंडिंग एवरी मैटर इन आर सराउंडिंग इज इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल हमने ये सारी चीजें पिछले वीडियो में डिस्कस की हैं स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम में हमने सीखा था एवरी मैटर कंटेन एटम और इट इज मेडअप ऑफ एटम एंड ईच एंड एवरी एटम कंटेन थ्री सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन और ये भी सीखा इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड प्रोटोन आर इन इक्वल अमाउंट दैट्स वाई दे नलीफाई ईच अदर एंड अल्टीमेटली द मैटर इज इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल ओके सो हाउ कैन वी स्टडी द चार्जेस एट रेस्ट स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में क्या डिस्कस करना है स्टडी ऑफ चार्जेस एट रेस्ट तो वट इज स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एट फर्स्ट वी शुड नो दिस static electricity actually produces because of imbalance of charges static electricity how can you produce static electricity on any object only by imbalancing the charges if you imbalance the charges on an object then it will produce static electricity the example was jaise humne silk cloth liya tha glass rod liya tha we rub together we rub together that too okay after rubbing we produces negative charges on silk cloth and positive charge on glass rod at the same time when we rubbed our hair with comb to humne kya dekha the comb jo hai it will get charged and because of that it is able to attract the piece of paper okay so what we was doing there actually we were imbalancing the charges what we was doing we were just imbalancing the charges so we can imbalance the charges even by rubbing also that we already studied earlier so by rubbing we can imbalance the charges on an object and because of that it will able to produce an electric field around it or magnetic field around it that is defined as static electricity so static electricity is an electricity which is produced by imbalance of charges static electricity is an electricity which is produced by imbalance of charges on an object and because of imbalancing of charges it will produce electric or magnetic field around it right it will produce electric or magnetic field around it i repeat static electricity is produced in an object by imbalancing the charges no doubt na it can be produced by imbalancing the charges on an object and of course because of imbalancing of charges it can produce 
इलेक्ट्रिक और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड इट करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी में क्या करना है इट इज जस्ट अ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन थ्रू अ मेटालिक वायर थ्रू अ कंडक्टिंग वायर इफ यू आर एबल टू मूव इलेक्ट्रॉन देन you can produce current electricity it's very simple when we move electron through a conductor why i'm telling conductor because conductor is only the material which have free electrons and they are able to move easily that's why so electric ele current electricity mein hame kya karna hai electron ne move karana hai the movement of electron is defined as current electricity this is the definition the movement of electron is defined as current electricity और यहां हमने सीखा स्टार्टिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैसे प्रोड्यूस होती है बिकॉज ऑफ इन बैलेंसिंग ऑफ चार्जेस व्हेन वी इन बैलेंस द चार्जेस ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट देन इट प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अराउंड इट एंड दैट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड व्हिच वी कैन यूज एज स्टार्टिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके सो स्टार्टिक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड कलेक्ट करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज डन नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एन एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैव अ मैग्नेट मैग्नेट के बारे में तो पढ़ा हमने मैग्नेट हैज टू पोल्स नॉर्थ एंड साउथ तो बड़ा है इफ यू प्लेस अ मैग्नेट इन अ प्लेन this is a plane just consider this uh, board as a plane actually this is not a board this is a tiles which i'm using here uh, because of lockdown we are not able to go in class so i'm just using this tiles to uh, explain this chapter so this is a magnet which i'm using here <clears throat> ab ye kya hai this is a field which it will create when you will place a magnet in a plane so this is a field this particular field is defined as magnetic field okay when you place a magnet in a plane then of course in front of it it will produce a field which is defined as magnetic field ab i have a nail which i am taking here kya hoga this particular nail will be attracted by this magnet right now okay this particular nail will be attracted by this magnet now i am keeping this nail here now it is not in a magnetic field now this particular nail is not in magnetic field now ab ye attract hoga kya no of course no this particular nail will attracted by this magnet only when you will keep this nail in magnetic field because whenever we place a magnet then it place or simply it form a magnetic field around it in that field if you will keep something attractive to magnet then of course it will attract the substance towards it uske liye kiya kya isne this magnet will exert some force right this magnet will exert some force to attract this nail and because of exertion of force this nail will be attracted towards magnet but there is one condition this particular nail should be inside the magnetic field right this particular nail should be inside the magnetic field agar if you are keeping this nail outside the magnetic field then of course it will never attract each other it will never attract it to this uh, magnet jo maine yahan par place kiya hai right now so by keeping this particular example in your mind just imagine in front of instead of this particular magnet i am taking a charge here okay now i am taking a charge here jaise magnet place kiya to usne magnetic field banaya at the same way when you are placing a charge here then it will form an electric field around it ye kya banayega electric field so this is now not a magnetic field this is now electric field right okay now we already discuss about charges we know the nature of charges kya nature hai if you are taking like charges then they will repel each other if you are taking unlike charges then they will attract each other but yahan bhi criteria hai yahan bhi condition hai that particular another charge which you are going to place here it should be in electric field for example if i am taking a charge minus q 
inside an electric field then what will happen this particular charge will be attracted by this or simply it will exert a force on this and because of that this charge will move from here to here but at the same time if you are placing another charge here maan lo ye q hai ye q1 hai and this one is q2 so is this this particular q2 charge will be attracted towards plus q no why because this charge q2 is not placed inside an electric field right now okay just like a magnet it form electric field when you are keeping charge here and because of electric field if you are placing another charge in between an electric field then it will attracted by this aur agar aap uske bahar rakhte ho to of course iska exertion ya fir force of attraction or repulsion jo hai we cannot experience or this charge will not experience any force of attraction or repulsion why because this is not kept inside the electric field right okay um this charge is making a field around it ye jo field hai is charge ke front mein itna bada this field is defined as is field mein bahut sara place hai right na to infinite isko hum log define karte hain kis se infinite se matlab there are infinite number of places where you can place another charge and of course that will be attracted or repulsed by this particular charge right na okay so this infinite place in this particular place which is defined as infinity you are placing another charge then it will be attracted or repulsed by this either it will attract each other or it will repel each other depends on the another charge which you are keeping here if it is positive then there will be a force of repulsion if it is negative then there will be a force of attraction right now okay abhi is particular charge ko jo maine yahan pe rakha hai maan lo ye minus charge hai so it will be attracted by this okay attracted by this means to say this particular charge will be will move from here to here hai na this charge will move from here to here ab move karega to iske liye isko kya lagana padega force jo bhi humne sikha either it will be a force of attraction or force of repulsion after application of force this charge will move from this point to this point right now after application of force this charge will move from this point to this point so of course it has to do some work kaam karna padega tabhi ye move karke jayega so that particular work done by the charge is defined as electric potential that particular work done is defined as electric potential i'm just writing the definition of electric potential then it will be more clear okay electric potential definition is work done to move a charge from infinity to a point kahan par in an electric field okay this is the definition <clears throat> electric potential ka definition kya hai this is the work done to move a charge from infinity to a point in an electric field ye hamara charge hai q this is our electric field we are placing another charge here there will be a force of attraction because this is negative charge this is positive charge because of the force of attraction this particular charge will be moved towards q whenever it will move it will have to do some work that work done is defined as electric potential ab ye infinity kyu likha yahan pe infinity kyu likha because ye jo field hai this field is defined as infinity infinity why because anywhere inside the electric field anywhere if you place another charge jaise maine yahan rakha i can keep it here also here also here also anywhere there are infinite number of places where you can place this charge okay now and of course in all the places if it is inside the electric field the force of attraction or repulsion will be experienced right now the force of attraction or repulsion will be experienced that's why in definition 
we use work done to move a charge from infinity. This is your infinity. Okay, infinity मतलब पूरी दुनिया में नहीं रहना है. Infinity means to say only inside the electric field. So inside the electric field also we have lots of places. Anywhere we can place another charge right now. So wherever you are placing the charge, it will experience a force of attraction or repulsion if it is in electric field. Okay, so because of that it will experience a force and because of that force this charge will move towards Q. Just I'm making a point here where I place this charge Q. Okay, because it will attract another one. And just imagine कि ये सब जो है उनसे छोटे हैं जिसको कि वो अपनी तरफ खींच रहा है वो या फिर वो push out कर रहा है. So this particular charge either will attract these all or repel each other. But these all should be in electric field only हाँ. इसका भी कुछ limitation है. ये charge जो है अपना force of exertion, attraction और repulsion वही लगा सकता है जहाँ तक कि उसका field है. So this is the electric field. But there are lots of places. So we define that place as infinity. Got it? Okay. So electric potential is the work done to move a charge from infinity. Infinity is this plane, जहाँ पर कि बहुत सारे points हैं, to a point. ये point हमारा क्या हो गया? A. To a point A. तो हम लोग इसको define करेंगे किससे? Electric potential से. Got it? This is your infinity. Wherever you are placing another charge, it will either attract or repel it. And because of attraction or repulsion, it will move towards it. Or move away from it. Dono hi cases mein work done karna padega. That work done will be defined as electric potential. Now, what is potential difference? Abhi, we will become quite practical. Because we are not actually placing a charge in plane and experience a force of attraction or repulsion. Aapne kabhi dekha hai? Nahi. But haan, we use a closed circuit. We always use a closed circuit to flow electricity. Actually, sun is the ultimate source of energy that we know. But in uh, artificial way, agar hum bolenge, to electricity is the ultimate source of energy. Because of electricity only, we are able to perform lots of functions or performance. Agar electricity nahi hota, so just imagine your life. So this is the artificial ultimate source of energy from my point of view. Okay, so potential difference. Padhte hai abhi. What is potential difference? Actually, electric potential and potential difference uh, physically dekha jai to same hi hai. There is a little bit difference. Abhi kya difference hai wo aap experience karo. I'm writing the definition of potential difference first. This is the work done to move a charge from one point to another point in a closed circuit okay this is the work done to move a charge from one point to another listen yaha pahe infinity to a point ek hi point fix tha infinity to a point yaha par kya hai dono bhi point fix de aapke i'm just making a electric circuit here this is just a circuit simple closed part of metallic wire is defined as circuit that we will discuss in our next topic so <clears throat> this is an electric circuit i'm taking two points here this is point a and this is point b in practical life actually we move charges or electron from one point to another point only not like this aisa to nahi karte aisa hi karte from one point to another point so this is a closed circuit where we will move an electron from point A to point B. Where we will move an electron from point A to point B. So there both the points are fixed. Okay, both the points are fixed. So I have written here, work done to move a charge. This is what the electron has to go. It will start from here and will end to point B. It will start from point A and end to point B. So if both the points are fixed to move a charge, then it will define as potential difference. Infinity से एक point तक charge को move कराओगे, उसके लिए जो काम करना पड़ेगा, that will be electric potential. But when you are moving a charge from one point to another point in a closed electric circuit, then it will be defined as what? Potential difference. Obviously, we will not use electric potential in our numerical section or in practical life. We are going to use potential difference, but both are same. Exam में आपको क्या आता है? 
they will ask the difference between electric potential and potential difference so you should know the definition of these two and what is the basic difference between these two i think you got it. you got it sorry <clears throat> electric potential work done to move a charge from infinity to a point and uh, potential difference kya hota hai it is in a closed circuit work done to move a charge from one point to another point यहाँ भी काम करना पड़ेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन को मूव करके जाना है पर पॉइंट इज फिक्स्ड इस पॉइंट से इस पॉइंट तक लेके जाना है यहाँ पर इन्फिनिटी मींस टू से इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एनी वेर यू कैन प्लेस अनदर चार्ज फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू अ फिक्स्ड पॉइंट दैट इज डिफाइंड एज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल हियर बोथ द पॉइंट आर फिक्स सो फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अदर पॉइंट आप अगर चार्ज को मूव कर रहे हो इट विल बी डिफाइंड एज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके सो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस is actually represented as pd shortly pd se represent karte hain sometime by v also potential difference ko represent karte hain kisse capital v se it is represented as capital v even though if you want to represent electric potential then also it will represented as capital v only both are same only the difference is यहां भी काम कर रहे हैं यहां भी काम कर रहे हैं यहां भी चार्ज मूव करा रहे हैं यहां भी चार्ज मूव करा रहे हैं ओनली द डिफरेंस इज हियर वी आर मूविंग द चार्ज फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू अ पॉइंट एंड हियर वी आर मूविंग अ चार्ज फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट दैट्स वाई सो बोथ आर सेम इन बोथ द केसेस वी विल यूज कैपिटल वी टू रिप्रेजेंट इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एज वेल एज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके नाउ द फॉर्मूला ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू अभी पीडी का डेफिनेशन हमने क्या पढ़ा वर्क डन टू मूव अ चार्ज क्या करते वर्क डन टू मूव अ चार्ज दैट्स वाई द फॉर्मूला इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस का फॉर्मूला है पीडी इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन को किससे रिप्रेजेंट करते डब्ल्यू से क्या मूव कराना है चार्ज सो वर्क डन टू मूव अ चार्ज इज डिफाइंड एज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस वर्क डन टू मूव अ चार्ज इज डिफाइंड एज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अब हम लोग इसकी स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट की बात करते हैं स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज वोल्ट व्हाट इट इज वोल्ट इट इज आल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड एज वी अभी यहां भी अगर मुझे लिखना है तो इस फॉर्मूले को आई राइट इट लाइक दिस वी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाय क्यू वी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाय क्यू मीन्स टू से पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू वर्क डन बाय चार्ज यहां भी v इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई क्यू स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट की बात करते हैं पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस की स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट इज वोल्ट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस वन वोल्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस देन आपको काम कितना पड़ेगा करना पड़ेगा सॉरी वन जूल एंड चार्ज की स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट क्या होती है कुलम सो वन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू वन जूल बाय वन कुलम वन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू वन जूल बाय वन कुलम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस वन वोल्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट देन यू हैव टू वर्क वन जूल कितना काम करना पड़ेगा वन जूल टू मूव वन कुलम ऑफ चार्ज इफ यू आर डूइंग वन जूल ऑफ वर्क टू मूव वन कुलम ऑफ चार्ज देन इट विल प्रोड्यूस अ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ऑफ वन वोल्ट डोंट मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट्स वेरी सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस का फॉर्मूला है वी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बाई क्यू स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ वी इज वोल्ट स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ वी मीन्स टू से स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट ऑफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज वोल्ट अब इसमें प्रॉब्लम क्या है इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल को वी से रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं उसकी स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट को भी V से ही प्रेजेंट करते हैं सो वन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू वन जूल बाय वन सेकेंड इसके लिए मैंने यहां पे ऐसा लिखा है एक्चुअली इट इज वन वोल्ट इज इक्वल टू वन जूल बाय वन सेकेंड ओके सो दिस इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस होप इट इज क्लियर ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक sorry next topic is electric current what is electric current the flow of electric charges 
the flow of electric charges per unit time through a conductor is defined as electric current. When you move a charges from a metallic wire or simply through a conductor in a particular time or simply per unit time. Time is important here. When you are moving a charge, I will move heart my charge and move karao. Is it produce electricity? It will produce electricity. No na. Okay. So we have to move that charge with respect to time. Time is very important here. So electric current ka definition kya hai? Melikri wa yape. Flow of electric charges in a conductor per unit time. Electric current is defined as flow of electric charges in a conductor per unit time. Conductor, you can take metal of course. So, this is the flow of electric charges in a conductor per unit time. This electric current is represent I. Electric current is represented as I. अभी हमने क्या सीखा? This is the flow of electric charge. क्या move कराना है? Charge. So the formula is I is equal to Q by हमने ये भी सीखा per unit time. When you are moving charges through a conductor per unit time, then it will define as electric charges. That's why the formula of current or electric current I is Q by T. This is the flow of charges. Q is charge here. This is the flow of charges per unit time. So electric current is defined as flow of charges per unit time. That's why the formula is I is equal to Q by T. I is equal to Q by T. Because the definition is flow of electric charges. This is electric charge in the conductor. Obviously you have to take conductor like metal per unit what? Time. So I is equal to Q by T. Current ki standard unit ki baat kar dhe. Standard unit of current is ampere. Yaha pe koi confusion nahi hai. In potential difference you have to represent PD as V. And even if you want to write the standard unit of that. That also represented as V. Which is volt. Actually name is different but the symbol is same in both the cases. In case of PD also we will use V. In case of volt also which is standard unit of current. Potential difference is also V. Here we represent electric current as I and the standard unit of current is ampere which is shortly represented as A. So if you want to produce 1 ampere current in an electric circuit then you have to move 1 coulomb of charge in 1 second. Simple. 1 ampere current produce karna hai then we have to move 1 coulomb of charge. Time kitna chahiye? 1 second. Agar aap 1 ka second mein 1 coulomb charge ko move karate ho through a conductor, then you can produce 1 ampere current. Okay? Electric potential or potential difference ke baare mein jab hum no discuss ka rahe the, I just forgot to explain the instrument or the device which is used to measure electric potential. We have a device which is named as voltmeter, which is used to measure the potential difference between a circuit. So potential difference, potential difference can be measured by using a device which is called voltmeter. At the same time, we can measure the electric current in a circuit also. So electric current can be measured by a device that is called ammeter. Usko kya bolte? Voltmeter. PD को measure करने के लिए जो device use करते हैं that is defined as voltmeter current को measure करने के लिए which we are doing using a device which is called ammeter voltmeter कुछ इस तरह का होता है and this is ammeter this is ammeter which is a device to use current. This is voltmeter, which is a device to use potential difference between a circuit. Okay, R meter and voltmeter are the device which we will use to measure current or 
potential difference in a circuit. Ampere current को हम लोग दूसरे मायनर मतलब छोटे unit के term में भी measure कर सकते हैं. The smallest unit of current is milliampere, which we use in our practical application. So one milliampere is equal to one by thousand ampere. Okay, one milliampere is equal to one by thousand ampere. You can write it like this also. <clears throat> One milliampere is equal to ten to the power minus three ampere. Ampere is quite bigger unit. Of course, in day to day life we use ampere. Even in numerical question also, uh, you will have always ampere only. But you should know about this also because in some question uh, you will see milliampere unit also. So you can convert it in ampere if you want because ampere is the standard unit of current. Okay. <clears throat> so. I'll finish this session here only because uh, it, I'm actually unable to upload a long video. If the length of video will become quite longer, so we are not able to upload that. That's why I'm making a short video so it will be easily uploaded and you can visualize it easily. Okay.